So the most interesting thing that Microsoft has ever done is create their own Windows version of S mode, which is basically a locked down version of Windows. Now, here's the thing about S mode. It's very cool. I think it's awesome if you are a fan of it, but most people end up liking the original version of Windows that that device is supposed to run on. Now, S mode is supported on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, and this is supposed to be, I guess, their entry of kind of making like a Chromebook alternative. So essentially, if you have something like a Windows PC that is on Windows 11, if it's tailored in S mode, it is supposed to be on one of the cheaper models that they make, specifically for those specific chipsets, you know, that are maybe more, you know, AMD or maybe Qualcomm, like, like the cheaper PCs that they make. But within the original version of Windows, you are able to actually access a lot more features and a lot more applications than that standard S mode. Now, here are some of the bigger differences between these two. For one, Windows you know, 11 or Windows 10 in S mode really focuses on performance. They try to give you the most amount of performance on the lowest end you know, hardware that they can possibly give you. Now, what does this mean? Well, like I said, when you're walking into Best Buy or Walmart and you're buying a Windows PC in S mode, it is typically in a lower end body or lower end feature or lower end hardware than something like a you know Windows 11 PC that's dedicated only for Windows 11. Now you can tailor on Windows 11 from S mode, so keep that in mind. If you want to, you can always go from Windows, you know, S mode to standard Windows, you know, operating system, but you are giving up probably a little bit of performance. Now to gain that performance in S mode, Microsoft does have to give up a few things. Now what they do is that they only allow you to download applications from the Microsoft Store, and I guess they require Microsoft Edge for safe browsing. Now, a lot of people don't know this, like I mentioned, but you can go in and just use standard Windows 11 mode on your PC, but within your Windows you know, 11 S mode or Windows 10 S mode, if you're trying to download applications, you can only go through the Microsoft Store. Now, this isn't a crazy big deal if you're just using it for like a student or something like that. You still have access to your internet browser, so you can still go and download applications and games and all those things from that specific app that way too. But if you're trying to download like .exe files and install them via the Microsoft Edge browser, you're not going to be able to do that on S mode. You just won't be able to do it. That's just kind of what happens when you are on S mode. But you are gaining some performance and some security, I guess that's kind of Microsoft's selling point. But almost every single way I look at it, Windows 11 is the more superior version of software. This is a version of software that's going to be giving you better features. It may not be giving you better performance on that same hardware, but it's going to be giving you the ability of installing and downloading the, your own applications that you want, which in and of itself, I think is a massive thing. On top of that, I definitely do think if you're trying to go ahead and actually use your PC as much as you can, getting a Windows 11 PC makes the most amount of sense to me because that is the one that's going to have the best hardware for that price tag probably, but also it's going to have the most amount of features and you can actually use everything from that specific PC from that standpoint. Now, I've always been okay with you know devices that are on S mode and whatever, I think they're totally fine, but when it comes down to it, if you're somebody who wants to actually utilize your PC to its full potential, getting one that's on Windows 11 outside of S mode is probably the best thing you can do, and it's probably the most important thing I'd recommend doing. You can always unlock S mode by just going into your Windows PC settings and hopping out of S mode, but if you want to, I'd probably recommend getting a dedicated Windows 11 PC that is not necessarily an S mode device. That way it probably does have better hardware or not. You can always buy one in the used market and save some money. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.